Hello there, and manawatia a matariki. It's matariki today. I hope you're enjoying the day and doing something to spend time with family and Fano and relaxing, giving back to people. Uh, I am, I don't know if you can hear it, but I'm actually feeling a little bit under the weather. I'm sucking on the Vicks nose drop things and Lemsip, and of course I've taken Ivermectin and Colloidal Silver and I'm eyeing up my pee because that's what fans of the Outdoor and Freedom Party tell sick people that they should do on a regular basis, even though what I've got was just a head cold. The tests all came back negative for COVID. One of the things I have been doing, though, is trying to get this week's episode of the Public Gallery out because it's a really big one. It's an interesting one, and it's on immigration. Because while immigration is one of those dog whistle topics that politicians, like Winston Peters, use on a regular basis to try and freak people out. Like, do you remember the early 2000s when he was all like, ooh, anti-Asians, and then he went off to China and organized a free trade deal with them? Weird. But that's the latest, not even the latest, that's just one step in a very long history of incredibly racist immigration policies that we've had. In the 1870s, there were laws passed that stopped Asian migrants from being able to become naturalized citizens. In the 1950s, the Department of Exterior actually turned around and put out memos saying our aim is to make this country white. Very white. And very British. In fact, we've got over 120 years of legislation designed to make Aotearoa white and British. And what we see now are people getting angry with the fact that that's not what's happening to this country. They're getting so angry that they're putting on road shows to tell everyone that co-governance is bad. That's the kind of effect that immigration can have if it's not monitored carefully. And even then, nobody 120 years ago could have seen something like that happening. On top of that, we've got the 501s who are coming over from Australia to a place that they've never known as home. But get sent here anyway, they have to go through standards that are literally known by the United Nations as torture. It fails the category for torture standards for the United Nations, the process that they go through. That's horrible. What about refugees who come over here looking for a better life who get 11 weeks as a crash course on how to assimilate into our culture? It's a really fascinating topic that gets people really worked up. So this week I sit down with Sam Scout and Art and we discuss what migration actually means, what immigration looks like, and how much of a dog whistle it can be. There's some really amazing insights as well from Scout who worked with Red Cross as part of a refugee resettlement process down in the South Island. So definitely give it a chance, download it, listen to it on wherever you get your podcasts or check out the YouTube page. In the meantime, I'm sure you can hear my voice is starting to crack up, so I'm going to go and enjoy the rest of Matariki weekend. Kakite anō. Enjoy the rest of your day.